Hello guys, Garcia here. Welcome back to Oblivion. So guys, in the last episode we completed the Beneath Your Darkest Fears quest. Which was, I think is the biggest secondary one of the Way mod. So now, uh, we came back home here to complete our level. So I finally finished uh, the training here. So we are going to the level uh, to level 30 now. So today we'll be continuing the Way quest line. So we need to continue this quest here, Death and Taxes. Also, before I level up here, let me just go to my stash here. Let me get uh, a few pieces of ginseng here. Because we need to give it to the lady. Uh, it's a secondary quest, it's not on the blog. But if I give a few to her, I think she is going to give me a few of the, the products she sells. So let me see. So I train for... Willpower, Strength, and Endurance. I think we are going to max out Endurance this time. So th there's something that I finally don't need to train anymore. Oh, well, we have a lot. I'm going to take like 10. Yeah, that should be enough. So we finally reached a 50 in blocking uh, here. We also are in the 50s in Heavy Armor too. But finally, we are done with Endurance. And also during my training, because I had a lot of uh, broken armor pieces, and also while training for strength, I al also had uh, to repair my, my sword and my pickaxe and so on with blunt and so on. So because of that, I finally reached 50 on armor, which means that we can finally repair our own items. So from now on, we'll be walking around with uh, some hammers, because now we can finally... Uh, Repair our magical equipment. And I also bought a bunch of potions while I was in town, trying to look for items and stuff. Alright, so let's sleep here. Let's see if the training <laughs> worked. Alright. This training took a long, long time. Alright, so 5 in strength, 5 in willpower. And 5 in Endurance, so that, that's it. Endurance is maxed out. So from now on, we need to train Intelligence too. And I think in the next level, we are going to max it too, yes. So after the next level, we are going to raise these three attributes here. We will have to start raising Personality. And the problem with Personality is I have all three skills in the Personality branch, basically. So. All the, the three skills, Speechcraft, Mercantile, and Illusion, are all main skills for me. So the only way to train these skills is by leveling up, really. So we'll see what I'm going to do after the next level, but that is going to take a while. So there you go. Oh, and also we have like 325 health. That's a lot. Especially for a character that started with very little, because I only started training Endurance, I think, after level 15 or something like that. So yeah, there you go. So we got the ginseng, let me check the rest of the items here first. And also let me read the quest, because we haven't been dealing with it for the last few episodes. So I have talked to Ursa, yeah, which is the first person we talked to in Wei. She and her husband Hegel has been uh, driven out of their homes by Maxentius Alosius. Oh, yeah, so we need to talk to this guy here. Probably the guy that lives in the manor, right? And are penniless beggars on the streets of Wei. Yes, intercede. All right, so the, when we got that this quest for the first time, we actually could have talked to the guy, but I decided not to because I wanted to get like the secondary quest first. Now we need to wait for the guy to show up. The only thing that I remember uh, the, uh, from the guy from that day was the guy has like one of those blue noble clothing. Uh, clothing. He wears one of those blue noble uh, outfits. Char. Basically, like, they look like jester clothes. One of those, like, <laughs> shoes that have, like, the curly... Uh, one of the side of the shoes is, like, a, 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 has, like, a curled uh, piece of cloth. I don't know how to call that. So, wait. Oh, I thought I was... <laughs> I was starting to, like... Yeah, I was starting to drown on the on the earth here for some reason. <laughs> Just because I was on the wrong side and I was, I was like sliding. Okay, let's go to Wei. So we need to find out first where the guy uh, 
he is basically because he he went to the imperial city for some reason and we need to talk to the guy about the the tax situation here so i'm pretty sure the the people here will help me if uh, a situation arises in which they can actually give me some advice or something okay so let's see so now it's uh, 2.43 in the morning. So yeah, I doubt there's going to be anybody available at this, time, this timing way here. Alright, nobody here. Uh, the guard is not going to be nice to me, I don't think. Maybe if I use the, the spell on him. I always remember the name of this thing. Well, sorry, not the name. I, I never remember the name of the the spell. I was going to say the name of the shortcut. <laughs> Seductive Charm. There you go. Alright. Yeah, so that's not how I'm going to be able to talk to this guy. So let's just wait for the morning. And let's see who's going to be available here. I think 7 a.m. should be good enough. We only saw the guy going to the Imperial City. We never saw him coming back, as far as I remember. So we probably need to get the info from somebody. Like where the guy usually goes, you know? Alright, that's the archer. The guy that sells uh, us bows in the store here. Uh, no, there's no one here. So the ginseng lady is not available either yet. All right, there's a guard. All right, the the salespeople are not here either. Oh, there's the guy from the fish quest, the water fish quest. Ursa, the husband. Okay, let's check the inn. We should talk about the guy with uh, the lady from the inn here. She probably can tell us where the guy usually goes at this time of the day, maybe. Seriously? Erdolf. No doubt. Any luck on those? Uh, not yet. Let's see. Uh, start to tell. So where Maxentius? That's the guy we need. The high and mighty lord of the manor. Want my advice? Stay away, far away. Rumor says he's mixed up with some bad people. I don't know who, and I don't want to know. So even she has the info, she's not going to tell us, I guess. Ah, okay. Who else could help me? Oh yeah, the guard. What is the name of the guard? Ah, yes, Milas. I think this is the name of the guard. Is that Dunmer that guards the manor? He's better than the rest, I suppose. At least away from the others. Oh, I see. <laughs> so in public, he's not going to come be nice. He comes in here at night, has a few drinks. Well, quite a few drinks, actually. Some, something is, is eating that one. Okay. That is actually useful information. So that guy might be our way in, I guess. But we need to talk to the guy first. All right, let me wait for an hour. The main problem with uh, any NPCs in this game, obviously, is that they can sometimes get stuck somewhere. Or just not Speak. behave the way you want them to behave during a certain quest and so on. Oh, hey, you. Give me some info, please. So you have been good to Horsebrit. Uh, my name is Gumne. Gumne. I'm, it's not such a hard name, is it? And not hard, but taken from me anyway. What I mean to say is, uh, do, will you do something for me? Will you hear me? Well, sure. Not what I wanted. I will listen. Now listen. Human ca humans call me Horsebreath now, 
a nice name, it is, is it not, though? Uh, tells you what they really think of me. <laughs> but once I was Gumne, I was a great hunter of the Black Marsh. I once hunted uh, even the Steel, Steel Skin Legion back to the to Cerdo. Okay. Ah, I see. So he was captured by uh, the guard. A long time ago, and I'm O2. Once I was a great hunter, now I tend a horse. This is fine. I like the horses, and they like me, sure. But. They have taken my name. I do not wish to be horse breath anymore. It's not the name for a hunter. Even if it were an old hunter like me. I see. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Nobody listens to me, but they would listen to you. If you could convince some of the people to call me correctly, the rest would surely follow. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Seven of them, the rest would easily follow. I see. Oh, it's actually a quest that is in the, the quest log. Uh, told me his former life in Black Marsh and his fight against the Legion. He also told me of the f his former name, Gumne, or Gumni, I don't know. He asked me to convince seven people in way to start using his old name. That is not going to be easy. That said, the strategy of using the Seductive Charm spell has been working. So maybe that's going to be enough, I just need to use it on a few people and talk about it. So let's talk with this orc fella first. Hey. Gumne. We'll try to remember. Gumne. Gumne. There I go. So one. Bye. I guess the quest is not going to tell me. Oh, there you go. Proved wrong immediately. Right, so I have one. So that's a good excuse. Jesus. <laughs> That's a good excuse to talk to everybody here. I don't think the guard is a part of the citizens here. Or the villagers. Where, where are they? The folks that work in the farm? No way they would wait like 9pm. Like well, 9pm. 9am to come here. Well, that said, the guys in the store are not here either. So... Frankly, there's no one here. I think that's an adventurer, yeah. Not an NPC. I mean, of the one, the card we need. Uh, Gumne. I suppose it would take some getting used to, but it does have a point. Who wants to be called Horse Breath? Yeah. There you go. Alright. Two people. What about you? I don't know what I'll do if you don't get those scales for me. Oh, don't worry. We'll, we'll talk it. The Romara sort of... Uh, Gumne. He's got the r a right to his name, okay. So we got a second guy. Wait for place to leave. Uh, rumors. Someone told me that Hieronymus Lex is... And uh, that was me. Many times ago. Oh, many times. <laughs> Well, Many days ago. I was so close. Um, okay. So we have three. What about you? Ah, this guy is not going to help me ever. Alright, so this is very weird. I'm not seeing like half of the NPCs that usually are in town. Hello. Let's see if Pleasure this guy can help. With... No. Maybe when he's sitting seeing on the outside. You. Oh. So, Ilahe actually lives here. My savior returns. Gumne. Surely, you do not have to convince an Argonian of this thing, yes. It is the other people of way you must ask. I see, but do you count or not? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Good to see you. What about you? You know, I... Uh, Gumne. I suppose there's not too much to ask, is it? He's got to write his name. There you go. So that's number four, I guess. Nice. That's let's just wait. Yeah, four people. There you go. Narusa. Any luck on? Gumne. I wonder why he hasn't said anything before. He smells like a horse, true, but that's no reason she should carry the name likable fellow like him. Oh, really? 
But everybody seems to like it. Good enough. Well enough, I mean. So who else lives here? Yeah, so the, the, the merchant, the other guy, uh, Thelonious, he doesn't live here, I don't think. Well, he's he sh he's, a, he's a merchant, he should be rich, right? But I don't think he lives in Wei either. But he's not nowhere to be seen here, yet. Who is that? Hi there. Oh, she's a necromancer. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Is a bold and un a undependable level 15 necromancer, I see. Goodbye. Alright, so... Who are you? Another adventurer? I've heard of you. You're the Divine Crusader. Yes, these are all adventurers. Farewell. They walk, uh, they go through way here a lot because obviously it's right outside of the Imperial City. And the whole like Western serial deal here, uh, you you have access to it using this road here. So yeah, they go here through here a lot. The problem is I don't know which NPC is like one of these secondary characters that you can uh, hire, or they are a way character. I don't know. You know, there's no way for me to know that. Oh, they showed up finally. Let me actually check the time here. 10 a.m. Oh, that's so late. First, let's talk to Jinseng Lady here. You saved the church from that wicked old alien king, didn't you? Yes. So, ingredients. Did you bring any ginseng? Uh, yes. I have ten. Enough for a double batch. Come back soon and I'll have some nice hot rolls for you. Okay. And Gunne. Of course, I'll call him whatever he wants. I just wish I'd known before. Yeah, I don't know if he was shy or what was the thing. Goodbye. One more person. Almost there. There you go. So what about you? I'm at your service, sir knight. Thank you. Gumney. It's not too much to ask, is it? He's got a right to his name. There you go. So a few have like particular answers. Most have like the stock answer for the quest. Okay. So I have convinced seven people in way that should be enough. There you go. That was not hard. So I don't still don't know where Thelonious is, and I still am not seeing the the NPC we need to talk to for the Death and Texas quest. Good morning. I don't know who this guy is either. Who are you? Uh, just a random NPC here. He doesn't have any new dialogue lines. He's the guy that lives here, I think. No, or maybe here. Yeah, he lives here. Okay, so we need to start identifying the NPCs. That's going to help us later. Okay, so now let me deliver the quest to uh, Gumne, I think. Yes, there you go. I have my name, you are a good friend, and I was right to trust you. Uh, sure. I cannot move as I once did, but I can still show a trick or two to that Hunters in Black Marsh. Yeah, no, now? No, to that? Jesus. The, <laughs> the way he spoke that phrase killed me. But okay, at least he's happy, and the quest is done. Take care. Alright. So yeah, we complete the quest. Good deeds go well rewarded, it seems. A few things about hunting. So I guess he gave me some skill points, but I, did, I wasn't paying attention, to be honest. So I have no idea what actually happened there. He gave me plus two sneak points? Really? Let me see if that's the case. Fortify sneak. No? I mean, maybe. Stand our blessing. Anu, Ray Prince. Yeah, I have no idea what happened there, but maybe he gave me the plus two here. I don't know. All right, important part is the quest is done. 
We also completed the Ginseng quest. I'll try to read faster. For some reason, I'm having all sorts of trouble reading here. Okay. So, now we need to wait for the guy to show up. Oh, the guard is not here either. Huh. I mean, I can't enter the manor, but why would I enter the manor, right? I don't even know what I would need to do there. So I think we really need to wait here. You have the hands of an illusionist. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening with some NPCs here. They are either like doing stuff very late. Well, he's just walking around the city, I guess. Yeah, I think he's only going to be approachable in the tavern. Not here in the middle of the city. Oh, <laughs> city is a very strong word. Oh, another guy. Alright, none of these guys are very nice. Alright, so let's wait for like three hours here. Let's see if something changes. I cannot wait when enemies are nearby. What enemies, dude? There's no enemies here. <laughs> this game's crazy. Unless the NPCs from the manor are like considered enemies, but I haven't done anything yet to them. So there's no reason to fear, I don't think. Alright, so far no NPCs here. What about Thelonious? He's not here either. Which day of the week the week is it? Uh, sun's height. I have no idea what that means. Sunday, maybe? If it is indeed Sunday, that makes sense. That should be like rest day, I guess. Yeah, but I still can't see the NPC. Well, Ilahe is here. Good afternoon. Hey. Where's your partner? Alright, let's wait for two more hours here. Yeah, let's wait until 6 p.m. Let's see what happens. 6 p.m. is usually the time in which like the, the stores are starting to close down in Imperial City. Okay. Let me get the light spell going here. Pretty soon we're going to need it. Yeah, so I think today maybe Tholonius doesn't come. It's gotta be that. Always keep or maybe something Have happened to him, around. which would be a problem. Because he's a very good merchant. Bye. Okay, so no one here, no one here. Okay, I doubt the folks will be farming <laughs> this late. Pretty soon we won't be able to even see that well here. Alright, so no changes here in the manor. Aethor, this is another guy. So this is the third different guy, I think. Or maybe that's the name of the guy that we talked to before. What about the orc? No? Okay. What about you? Lily. Yeah, I have no idea how to proceed here. Fisherman. Uh, wait. Lived here all my life, just like my mom and my pa. Been fishing for the, for most of it. Good town for fishing. You can keep the slaughter fish off you. Uh, you can <laughs> look around. Plenty of us uh, didn't. Good money in them, though, if you're fit and able. Uh, what with the Imperial City needs, we live well. Okay. You too. So this is the guy that lives there. All right. So we finally met all the NPCs in town, I think. Except for the guy we need. For some reason, the guy we need is just not around. We just saw him guy go into the Imperial City, and then I think we haven't seen the guy like even once anymore. 
that is a problem. Alright, so let's go to the tavern again. Oh, hey. Hello. You need something... Yeah, I know who you are. <laughs> Walk always in the shadow of Sithis. Sure. Sir? Uh, what about Wei? A, a thousand towns like, like it, citizen? Just another place to drink and sleep? I see. Uh, problems? There are no problems in this town, citizen. We work hard to keep it that way, now move along. Great. Rumors? Emperors have been... Yeah. Farewell, citizen. Yeah, so just a random guard here. Oh! That, the guy! There you go! We found him. What about you? This is the main guard, probably. Oh, there you go. So we need to wait until like 6 p.m., I guess? Let's see. 7 p.m., okay. So he's finally back. Let's see what he has to say. Pleased to meet you, stranger. I am Maxentius Alosius, a man of wealth and taste. <laughs> what a weird way to say. What about Hago and Ursa? I'm afraid that's quite impossible. They fail to pay. Now I own the land and I intend to keep it. Now, if you excuse me. Okay, what about uh, problems? Um, be very careful, stranger. You're very close to causing problems. And well, we discussed that, didn't we? Oh, really? What do you have to say about Wei? Fantastic little town, isn't it? A very happy, prosperous little place, if I do say so myself. Okay. Now kindly remove yourself or I shall have you dealt with. No, thank you. Leave me alone. Okay, sir. You say so? I don't know if they are coming or going there. I think they are coming. Okay, so what happened here? Here. I attempted to discuss Hegel and Ursa's rent with Maxentius, but he refused to talk to me. Uh, hopefully some other way can be found. This is terrible. We can possibly pay him. What we are going to do? Uh, rumors? Wait, trying to the All right, so she's not going to have to to help. I mean, you know what? I think the only guy that can help us is the guard. That is not so bad. If you guys remember, the tavern lady said that. How are you? Problem is, where is the guy? <laughs> that's the that's the main problem. He's not here right now. So I need to walk around town here to see if I can find him. Alright, so talking to Maxentius here is not going to help. I think he's just a random adventurer, yeah. Who is this one? It's my pleasure. Level 16 conjurer, not an adventurer. Good day. Man, if you wanted, we could just totally stay here all day and gather an entire party of people. Oh, there you go, the guy. You just need to be patient, and the guys eventually will show up here, I guess. Let me sit. What do you want, tree hugger? Chill, bro. I was trying to use a spell, but you cannot use a spell sitting down, I think. So what do you need? So away. Depressing place, isn't it? May maybe nice enough, except for all the problems. I had hoped coming here would be better than this somehow. I see. Well, just go away. So what now? <laughs> I don't understand. This quest is so weird. All right, he's here. I'm talking to him. You can find. K yeah. Let me see if I need to actually raise his disposition what? first. Oh, Jesus, that's terrible. All right, let's try to raise this as much as possible. So, yeah. So left and down. Okay. Don't make real. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. What a wonderful compliment. Not. That's just talk. Not. What? That's just talk. Uh. That's pretty. No. You're pathetic. You're. No, you do me too much honor. 
Um, yeah. No. Blah blah blah. What a bull. What a wonder. That was terrible. That's just. Talk. <laughs> yeah. No. That's just talk. All right. We're almost there. No. Don't make. Oh please. Your pet. What? Your waste. You're good. There you go. Bye. Now I have a hundred with him. Yeah. So this is not it. Be seeing you. Welcome back, traveler. So I have no idea what I need to do now. Any luck on those? That was my plan. Keep looking for that wine. Farewell. So maybe I need to wait for him to wait to uh, get up. Where are you going, bro? Why are you are you running? Yeah, so the only thing that I can imagine here is to actually invade the manor. Because I needed to talk to the guy, but this is not going anywhere. Your service, Sir Knight. I don't know who this guy is. No one wants to Problems. Alright. Good day. I hope I can help. Oh, these are the farmer people, yeah. I was like, who are these people? Never seen them before. It's because they are in a different spot, basically. So yeah, my only plan was to talk to the the high, the high elf, the elf guy in the tavern. But doesn't seem to be the way, at least for now. And he has like a full good disposition with us. Maybe Gamne here knows something. I hope I can help. I hope too. Yeah. Be seeing you. This is not going well. Way shrines of the. Well, if the quest like gave me an option to actually pay for her, the taxes, I mean, that will solve all the problems. The problem is, I don't think she's going to give me that option ever. That's not the point of the quest, I don't think. Good day. Yeah, let me wait until like more than midnight here. Let's see if something changes in the city here. Maybe I need to wait for him to be the guard at the front of the mansion, I guess. Let's see where he's going to go. She's here? Really? Oh, she's sleeping, I see. Thought she was invisible <laughs> for a second. What about now? Oh, I see. On the outside, he's never going to be nice, I guess. Man, this is so annoying. Yeah, the only thing I, I I see like that is actually going to move the plot forward here is me actually invading this place. Problem with that, obviously, is that I that might break the quest. And if I break one of these quests here, I'm going to break the entire quest line, and that's very scary. Who is actually seeing me here? It's not him. He has his back turned. Try to find a right spot here. I think it's the horse actually. That is very annoying. Let me see if I have a, another way of entering here. I cannot use light right now. So I really have no idea how to proceed here. So I'm going to try to invade the place. I'm going to save it right here just in case because if I, if I break this quest, then the quest line is done. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do this. If it doesn't work, then I'll check the the walkthrough to see if there's another way to do this. Maybe Thelonious is the guy that could actually help me. The problem is he's not around for some reason. And we don't know exactly why. Yeah, for, for a small second when I arrive here, I can, I can get... I can enter without being seen. Like this, for example, right now I can. No, I'm not. I'm not. I cannot. <laughs> it's just like a, a small window of time in which I can actually enter the place. Yeah, let's just try. Whatever, I don't care. inside here I was I thought I was going to be attacked immediately but not not that didn't happen all right so I attempted to discuss uh, hopefully some other way can be found so what is the other way so maybe I need to do something here steal the money back or something like that let's see if my Thievering ways here. I'm going to actually help me here. Okay. There's no point in like opening everything because I have no idea. Uh, yeah, just a guide for producing something. Maybe here? Alright, so this place has the same design of the house of that vampire that we fought many episodes ago in the Talos Plaza, I think. So, there he is. The key. I'll get the key. No. Piece of paper, piece of paper, jewelry box. Uh, no. Cupboard. No. Bars. No. Darkest darkness. All right. Nothing that I can could use here. Not a cupboard. Yeah, so I have nothing. He literally has nothing of interest here in his entire room, which is very rare. The outside here. I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, great. Really? <laughs> How the hell did I lock myself on the outside here? There's a physical problem with this. Oh, he did that, I see. A key? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get a key. Alright, I don't need your money. You can have it. For now. Ooh. All right, let's chill. <laughs> oh man. Oh, his main desk is this one, not this one. Okay, let's check. All right, let's open this chest here. Just to see if there's something relevant here. So we found no documents, no nothing in his room. On. Thank you. Yeah, nothing. Who? Where? 
I heard the door opening, but I have no idea where that was. Soul gems. Someone's camp. Yeah, so let's check the table here. Shocking burst. Blank note. So pro probably it is indeed blank. Yeah. Well, there's one that's there's that's open here for some reason. There's no one here. All right. So what what about this one? Oh yeah, the, I have a key. I forgot. Nothing here. So here we have, I don't know if this is the main guard, let's see. Oh my god, this guy is loaded. Frost shield, you guys have to be very strong. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I saved. <laughs> yeah, this guy's going to be a problem. If I, I obviously one of the routes for this quest probably is going to involve fighting all of these guys here on the manor, and that is not going to be easy, especially if I have to fight all at once, you know. Oh, my God! There's some people talking. I want to check the basement. Just trying to like check the most obvious places here for any documents. Another blank note. Showing your face was the last mistake oh, you'll ever make. Great. Let's just check these two here before I load. Yeah. All right. So so far, no progress. So let's try the basement. Man, I, I was like almost like 100% sure that the the progress of the quest would involve that dark elf, but for some reason, it just didn't work out. I have no idea why. Maybe I'm, I'm, prob I'm probably like skipping a step, you know? Cannot open this. Yeah, nothing here. Hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me see if I can actually leave. Yeah. Yeah, alright. So I have no idea what I need to do here. 
So we talked to the guy, then we talked to her before, and she was like, oh, I don't know what we can do now. Try combine. Wait. So the only thing that I can even imagine that would like fix the quest would be to kill the guy, basically. Problem is, if I try to kill the guy, I'm going to get a bounty. I'm pretty sure. You're the divine. What can? I Good day. So the only other thing that I I think could help will, is Thelonious. Maybe Thelonious can can help me because he's a merchant and he's also a noble, or he looks like one at least. And we already helped him, so he might be able to help us. The problem is, where's the guy? <laughs> We're having all sorts of trouble. So I'm pretty sure that the one thing we can try is to, to kill everybody on the manor. Okay. You. Not that. But that obviously is not the like, really a viable option right now. Alright, let's wait until like 10 a.m. Let's hope that he's going to show up. Uh, Thelonis, that is. So I guess Midas probably is Monday. Oh, there he is. Greetings to you. Oh, he showed up actually here. <laughs> That's very convenient. Well met. Oh, there you go. Hago and Ursa. I might know a way to help. Maxentius strikes me as a type uh, to have a journal or ledger to record all his dealings. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't find it, damn it. There may be something in there that to incriminate him. How uh, would get in and get out beyond me, however? I see. His guards are very efficient, very ruthless. And once you get it, I doubt that you can just accuse him uh, to the guards. You have to pay them off, uh, them off, I see. Lucius Decimus might have an idea. When you get the book, talk to him. Who is Lucius Decimus? I don't have no idea. Make sure Maxent is out of the house before you go running around. Easier that way. I see. Uh, guards. Four of them. There's a big red guard that follows Maxent everywhere. There's also an orc, but he doesn't come out much. There's a Bosmer and a Dunmer. Yes. Comes in here sometimes. Not really a bad sword. He's actually fairly civil when he's not with the rest of them. I see. So maybe for me to get access to that guy, I need to talk to Thelonious first. Oh, I see. All right, now the gears are moving. So Lucius Decimus is this guy. So I need to get the ledger first, I guess, before I talk to him. Or maybe can I talk to him before? Let's see. He's going to exit right now. I mean, I think. Or not. <laughs> How goes it? Yeah, he just stayed around here. There you go, Ledger. It might work. Listen, you can get that book. I think I know somebody uh, we can talk to. Can't trust the Imperial City Watch. They've got uh, to be all in Maxentius' pocket. So when you get the Ledger, come back and talk to me. Okay. Perfect. Bye. All right, so I need to get the ledger first. That is going to be a problem. But at least finally we have a direction here. So it turns out it wasn't really like wasted time. Now we know the layout of the house. Okay. Okay, so we need to find out where the ledger is. So I guess now that we talk to everybody, we, the ledger is going to actually spawn somewhere. He's probably not here right now. The guy, I mean. Oh, there you go. That was easy. So Lucius is paying a thousand, and Rus is paying a thousand. Foreclosed. 500 septims. That's a lot of money. My god. That's an insane amount of money from. Just like random villagers. Bribes. <laughs> That's crazy. So I have found Maxentius Alosius Ledger. I should take this to Lucius Decimus right away. Oh, I see. So I have to fight. Well, now that they attack me, that makes everything easier. Because... That means that I don't need to force a, a, a combat situation here. Battle Medic's Caress. Pretty cool. Oh, this guy has an entire set of good stuff. Alright. Thanks for the items, I guess. 
I wasn't going to fight, but you wanted to, so there you go. The moment I heard the bells, I was like, mm, here comes the cavalry. But yeah, it turns out, it was only one of them. There's three more. Oh, wait. I just heard some swords being drawn here. Yeah, I cannot go through here. No way. I have to fight the York too. Oh. <laughs> so they were going through the other side. Yeah, so I probably will have to fight everybody here to be able to leave. Alright, maybe not. Okay, we got the ledger. So let's see if the guys can help me here. Well, he is here. Or not. The door is locked. Maybe he's in the tavern. Let me check. Oh, let me check if I have a bounty. That's actually important. Let me see. I mean, I don't think I, sh I should have one here. Uh, no, because the guy attacked me first. And he actually did not see me actually stealing the ledger no he's not here yeah so he is probably back home I don't know why his door is locked though I don't want to invade a, another house <laughs> this early in the morning but it seems like I don't have an option oh now he's open Ugh. okay uh, let me get some light going. A pleasure to speak with you. Okay, the ledger. The man you need to find is named Publius Candidus. He an, was an old commander of the Legion, and I'm certain you can trust him. Last I heard, he was living near Coral. You want to ask around there? I see. Okay. Okay. Publius Candidus. Okay. So the, the Legion, the Imperials, and their goddamn Roman names. He lives near, near Coral. Okay. Luckily, Coral's close by, kind of. Hey. There's no problem, is there? No. Publius Candidus. He lives in a farm not far from the west of from here. Let me show you on your map. Thank you. What a nice guy. You too. It's pretty easy. Alright, he lives here. Alright, so I just need to walk around a little bit and move reach the place. Oh, I've never seen this place before. The wheat fields. Martin Balago. Is here? Nope. Crash. Hey guys, I'm back. So we got a crash there. But I was able to arrive here this time. So I guess this is the guy. Uh, here's the farm. It's called Candidus Farm. So here he is. Oh, choke. So let's see if he actually can help us. I don't know if I should like use the spell on him f first or not. We'll see. So what can I do for you, st stranger? So Hegel and Ursa. This is a dreadful tale you tell, my friend. So this man must be brought to justice. I'll travel to way at once. Meet me there. Oh, really? That's really good. We'll deal with this villain. <laughs> Alright. We got the superhero here. That's actually funny. That <laughs> we'll deal with, with, the, with this villain. It's a very interesting way to put it. Here. Let's see. 
I'm glad you're here. Look, I can provide legitimacy for all of this, but you need to uh, you need to make the arrest. I see. And my age, I'd be no good in a fight if it come to came to that. So getting there and arrest Maxentius. I see. So he's going to basically help me, but I'll have to fight them anyway. I guess. Yeah, not great. Oh, awesome. Okay. Let me move. All right. All right. Luckily, they don't seem to be this strong. Alright, let me heal. So I knew this fight was going to be very annoying. Oh, maybe that was too much. Just use my best potion there. I want to kill them la him last, so maybe he will surrender if I kill all the guards here. Okay, another one is down. Another one is down. You pathetic worm! Well, Maxentio, Alosius, and his guards all lie dead after they attacked me. I should tell Publius Candidus the news right away. I will, but let me get everything that I can here first. Depletion. Oh, Miles. He was a nice guy, I guess. But the quest forced me to fight him anyway, so I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Ferocious Curus. They do have some good items, but nothing like Earth uh, Shattering here. Except this. This is a good one. Uh, yeah, they have basically the same equipment. The heavy users and the the heavy armor user users and the light armor users. That was kind of annoying. I wish there was a way to avoid the confrontation entirely here but apparently that's not an option probably that's like the route that I picked right there must be a different way to do this you've done it then they're all dead I was afraid I it would come to that but at least justice has been done here well done now I must away somebody's going to have to explain this in the Imperial City I leave the cleanup to you and take this to Lucius Decimus. I think he has something for you. I see. And yeah, his face is bugged, but that's okay. Farewell. I think I can. I think I can fix his face before he goes. Here. Oh, I see. This humble legion soldier is. Okay. Carry yeah. On. So his face is going to be broken for the rest of the game, I guess. But that's okay. Alright, so let's go to talk to Lucius Decimus. I'm pretty sure there must be a, a method that doesn't involve like fighting all these people here. But... Didn't work out. I tried to talk to the guy, he didn't help me. So maybe I need to talk to him like after I, th I talked I talk to Thelonius to get the ledger. Maybe he would give me the ledger and he would survive or something like that, you know? But yeah, whatever. At least the quest is done, I guess. Let me check my, my bounty just in case. I always check my bounty <laughs> every time I kill someone in a civilian area. Uh, hey. Good news, my friend. I've been talking with Elahe. With his help and some of yours, I think I can begin selling enchanted elemental arrows. Oh, that's good. But let's talk about uh, manor first. Everyone in town thought that you ought to have that place, seeing as how you went with uh, to all that trouble. So we couldn't have done it without you, and we are grateful. Here, take the key. Oh, really? A little barren at the moment, unfortunately. All the fighting did terrible things to the furniture, you understand? Talk to Thelonius, he should be able to get whatever you need. There you go. Uh, problems? No problems, we are all grateful. It's a wonderful thing you've done from there, my friend. Really? 
Malahay thinks that with proper ingredients he can enchant, enchant arrows with a variety of elemental damage effects. Shock, fire, frost. Area effects. Okay, here's the deal. You should bring Elahay Atronach Salts. You need to provide enough uh, arrows for him to enchant. He can enchant 20 arrows at a time and or 10 area effect arrows. Oh, I see. And you need better arrows for better enchantments. Steel is fine for the weakest, but you need silver, ebony, and elven for the best. I've written down the whole thing, so you can look at it later. Oh, there you go. It's kind of a secondary quest too, I guess. Only quality goods for sale. So yeah, we already got the interest you in? Uh, the manor. Goodbye. It's very interesting. I thought we were going to get the manor at the end of the quest line, not in the first quest. So where is Ursa and her husband? I want to talk to them. Hail. Uh, thanks, Publius. Thank you, thank you. We'll never forget what you've done for us. We've been living here half our lives. Fisherman. Uh, he's mute now, the poor deer. I'm sorry to take care of things for both of us. Neither of us uh, is what you might call spry these days. I see. You too. So yeah, he is mute. Alright, but he's happy. Okay, they are happy, but where are they living now? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Since the situation has been fixed, what the hell, you know? Because ev everyone else has their own homes. Where is their home? I don't know. So maybe the manor is all empty now, and we need to refurnish it. Which is how it works with like, every other house that you can get in the game, you know? Yeah, I have no idea where they would live here, but apparently the situation has been fixed, I guess. Yeah, the quest is completed. So the quest is called Way Manor. Talk to Lucius, who informed me that the citizens of Way were all grateful to me for the deliverance from Maxentius Lucius. He told me that the manor is mine as a gift from the people of Way. Should I need uh, furnishings? I should talk to Thelonius. Okay, so we're already here anyway. Let's talk to him. We have a lot of good loot to sell to, but this is probably going to be very expensive. Well uh, Manor? Lucius said you'd be by, so I can't get you uh, anything you need for your new manor straight from the Imperial City. Best quality furnishings. I do you, uh, need you to make a choice regarding the furnishings from the entry hall, incidentally. You can have your choice of walls and walls of display cases uh, to display your treasures or a nice cozy seating area to relax in. Uh, mm, city area, I guess. Very well then. I'll have it available for purchase immediately. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Oh, this is going to be very expensive. <laughs> this is going to be extremely expensive. Goodbye. I think I could sell the items to him. Let me see. A pleasure to certainly. Yeah, his position is maxed. Have a look at my wares. I think he's is he's a journeyman. That might be a little bit too much. Let's try seventy percent. Is already pretty decent. Let's see if that works. Actually, I think you can go for like seventy-five at this point. Maybe seventy-three. Let's see. Damn mouse. Wait. Okay. That's more than I'd use. Yeah, that's good enough. There's no item that, that I need to keep here. These are just like regular magical you items. A... Really? An, a... You got... you... You drive a hard bar... Not the great cow. You... That's a good deal. You... You... Marfets. That's... Okay. Almost two hundred thousand. Another. So before I actually buy this stuff from Good him day. for the manor, let me actually enter the manor first, just to see how it is right now. Because the manor was complete, then we had the quest, and now it was emptied out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. In the space of like a few minutes, everything went with the way of the dodo here. 
completely empty now. But now the manor is ours. That's pretty really cool. Finally, we'll be able to explore here. Ooh, what the hell is this? I, I didn't enter here, actually. Maybe that's the main room, I guess. Not that one. Okay. So I, I really thought that we were going to get this later, not now. But if you we already got it, then it should be easier to get like new quests from the people here because I'm pretty sure the quest line is not over. So we have different quests that we can do here. The elemental arrows. Never mind, I see. So I need to bring it. The correct uh, mix of ingredients for him. Uh, where is it? Elemental arrows note. Very good. Atronach salt of the type you wish. Strong arrow. I see. So I need ebony arrows for the best ones. Elven for the second best and so on. Area elemental arrows. I see. So I, it weighs zero. So I guess this is a quest item. I don't think I can drop this. No, I can actually drop it. I see. Almost flew away. <laughs> okay. So yeah. So uh, this one has been already too long. So in the next episode, we will buy all the furnishings of the house. Let me just check Pleasure. the amount here. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Come on. Here, manor, alchemy lab, and so on. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of money. Luckily, we do have a lot of money, so shouldn't be that hard. Oh, he has a lot of basically everything, really, now. I need to remember to actually uh, use you. the spell on him before I actually pay. So I can get the discount, you know. Alright, so we had a lot of trouble with the crash and like finding out what to do here, but we were actually able to do it. So, in the next episode, we will furnish the entire house and we will continue the quest line. I'm pretty sure we are not done. Uh, there's more quests. I do remember more quests than this. So, we'll see if we can get the next one in the quest line. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.